Hi, I'm Shannon Giuliano. Welcome to my studio. Does it have glitter on it? Well, it doesn't have glitter, well. Or not glitter, but whatever the shiny is. These are the beads. Uh -huh. So, and this kind of, kind of glitters because it's like a different kind there, of sheen. sparkles like Right. A so, as you may or may not know, I have um, an art exhibit down at the Art Center at Cannon County right now. And so, it's been down there March and April. And because of COVID and, you know, shelter at home, nobody's gotten to see it. Um, possibly you saw a video tour, a virtual tour that I put on Facebook and Instagram. Um, but if not, it's fixing to open back up. So, most of the pieces are still there. I've sold four of them. Um, some may go back, some may not, but this is one of them. Um, this piece is called Wings, and um, it's already purchased, so you can't buy it, but I could do something like it if you really love it. Um, but the inspiration behind this was angel wings, like it just kind of, um, it just kind of happened that way. And I wanted it to glow, and I added, you know, little beads and texture and, and stuff to like give it some visual interest. If you saw it on the video, it didn't have its top coat on now, but now it does. And I don't know if you can tell in this slide or not, but it, it glows from the inside. So that's exciting. I love this piece. Since the shutdown and the show started, I didn't stop creating. I came back to my studio and I've been working on some new things and these new things are gonna go to the art center for you to purchase, woohoo! Um, so this one kind of looks like stained glass um, and I use a little bit of different process. I used some inks um, and acrylics. I love texture, I love drips, I love character, just like in furniture or clothes or paintings. Um, but anyway, so this is one of the new ones. Um, this is another new one, and it's kind of a different, different look than what I normally do, but it is full of bright colors and textures. This one was done when we first got in the lockdown. So the name of this painting, it was named by one of um, my followers on Instagram. He's got the whole world in his hands. Because to me, all the turmoil was going on and everybody was, you know, fighting fear and not really knowing what was next. This painting was born out of that. Um, the energy, the life, but everything being held in his hands. So that's my faith and where I stand on that. Um, some new bright colors. And then this one is another one that I worked on um, kind of in the same time. You'll see kind of a similar color pattern. This one is one that always I love with the nice turquoise and hearts. Don't know if you noticed or not, but I love hearts. So you're gonna see hearts in everything I do. They may be tiny, they may be accidental, they may be on purpose, but they will be there. Hearts are my deal. This is a 48 by 60 inch canvas, which I cannot wait to get started on. Um, the way that I paint, I paint in layers and drips and washes and underpaintings. And most, mostly I'll write like a scripture or um, a word or something that is inspiring me at the time, something I want underneath this painting. So no matter how many layers of paint end up on this canvas and how much texture it has, underneath it's built on that scripture or on that word or that inspiration. So whether the person ever knows it or not, I know it. Um, and usually it'll have something to do with the title, you know, by the end of it. But anyway, so I have several canvases to get started on. I want to do those so I can take them to the gallery as well. This is one that um, I started yesterday. So this is how I start. I actually wrote some um, uplifting scripture words on the painting. Then I did some inks and then let that drip. And then did a little bit of color on top of it. And then it's got to dry. So it dried overnight. I'll start into it later. But it's just the first of many layers. Let me show you these. I use um, these oil pastels to add marks, um, all kinds of pencils, um, Posca markers, China markers, regular pencils, um, Prismacolor colored pencils. 
anything to add that extra little visual interest that will keep somebody hanging on and enjoying the painting for a little bit longer. Check out the texture that's in this painting. So it has actual, I like putting like sand, um, shells, beads, um, lace, um, like what, whatever is not tied down and is not um, gonna disintegrate, <laughs> then I, it's, it's um, it could be stuck in a painting. There's like pearl beads. Um, this is like caulking, you know? Um, some wire mesh, lace. Um, I don't know what kind of that little metal thing is on there. But we have a black and white, black and white, is it? <laughs> okay, see? So whatever is whatever's trash goes goes in my little uh, like drawers and stuff to be used in a painting later. It's like it's full of discoveries. I hope you enjoyed um, the tour through my studio. I enjoyed having you here. The next time I see you, I'm gonna go to the gallery in Cannon County and kind of take you through the paintings individually. See you later. <laughs>